Exploring AOH 1996 for Refractory Solid Tumors, a Revolutionary Clinical Trial. Welcome back, fellow medical research aficionados. As someone deeply immersed in the nexus of AI, quantum computing, and groundbreaking medical research, I've been closely following the AOH 1996 trial, a trailblazer in cancer therapy. With the eagerly awaited results expected in September 2024 from Phase 1, our journey into this innovative exploration continues to unfold. Today, we delve into the details shared on clinicaltrials.gov, highlighting the encouraging progress of this study. Excitingly, the research is not only advancing but is also expanding its reach, actively recruiting additional participants at the City of Hope Medical Center in Duarte, California. For those interested in being part of this pivotal research, the California location's address, contact phone number, and email address, along with the principal investigator Vincent Chung's details, are provided in the video description below. Now, let's dive deeper into AOH 1996, unraveling how its potential success could revolutionize the medical field. Introduction to the study. In the ongoing battle against cancer, a phase 1 clinical trial is making waves with its investigation into AOH 1996, a promising drug aimed at patients with treatment-resistant solid tumors. Conducted with meticulous attention to safety and optimal dosing, this trial seeks to unveil the potential of AOH 1996 to offer new hope where standard treatments fall short. Understanding the trial's core objectives. The primary goals of this trial are to ascertain the maximum tolerated dose, MTD, and identify any dose-limiting toxicities, DLT, of AOH 1996, paving the way to establish a recommended Phase II dose, RP2D. Additionally, the study aims to explore the pharmacokinetics of AOH 1996, assess its preliminary efficacy, and measure its impact on tumor response rates and disease control. The Treatment Methodology Participants in the trial are administered AOH 1996 orally twice daily in 28-day cycles, with the treatment continuing unless disease progression or unacceptable toxicity is observed. This rigorous approach ensures a thorough understanding of the drug's effects over extended periods. Current progress and recruitment. With the primary completion of the study anticipated by September 2024, the trial is in an active phase of recruiting participants. This recruitment drive is crucial for gathering a diverse pool of patients to validate the drug's efficacy and safety comprehensively. In-depth look at the study's design. The trial meticulously screens candidates aged 18 and above with solid tumors that have not responded to standard therapies. The inclusion criteria are stringent, emphasizing informed consent, a performance status indicative of a reasonable quality of life, and specific health benchmarks that candidates must meet. The exclusion criteria are equally detailed, ruling out individuals with conditions or histories that could skew the study's outcomes. Treatment arms and methodology. This single group, open-label study follows a dose escalation model where patients receive AOH 1996 for cycles repeated every 28 days, barring disease progression or severe side effects. The study meticulously tracks clinical responses and any adverse events, providing a clear picture of the drug's safety profile and effectiveness. Outcome measures and future implications. Primary outcomes focus on assessing the incidence of adverse events and identifying dose-limiting toxicities to fine-tune the treatment dosage. Secondary outcomes measure the drug's efficacy in controlling or reducing tumor growth, with exploratory objectives examining the drug's pharmacodynamic parameters. Conclusion and Call to Action This clinical trial of AOH 1996 represents a beacon of hope in the landscape of cancer treatment, specifically targeting refractory solid tumors with a novel approach. As the study progresses, it continues to seek participants who meet the stringent eligibility criteria, offering a chance to be part of a potential medical breakthrough. For those interested in learning more or participating in the trial, contact details and further information are available. Ensuring that this vital research moves forward with the support and involvement of the community it aims to benefit.
As we wrap up today's exploration of the AOH 1996 clinical trial, I want to thank you for joining me on this insightful journey. If you're as captivated by the potential of this groundbreaking research as I am, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Your engagement helps us delve deeper into such vital studies, bringing you the latest developments in medical research. I encourage you to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below, so we can continue this journey together, unraveling the mysteries of innovative cancer therapies. Your support is crucial in our quest to uncover the next big breakthrough in medicine. Stay tuned, stay curious, and let's keep pushing the boundaries of medical science together.